What's up, sports bettors? NFL Week 8 should be very interesting. There are a lot of closely contested matches where lines are not super juiced in either direction. So one of the first examples you can see right here is Ravens-Buccaneers. The Ravens are very slight favorites. Then you have Patriots-Jets, where the Patriots are slight favorites. The Raiders are slight favorites against the Saints. The Titans are slight favorites against the Texans. And the 49ers are slight favorites against the Rams. So there's a lot of close matchups in week eight of the NFL season. And what we're going to be going through is, and where I have a sharp bet, um, is 49ers Rams. So what you'll see is the 49ers are slight favorites. They're best offered at minus 111 odds on Pinnacle Sportsbook, which you can see right here. And then the best price you can get on the Rams is plus 114 on FanDuel. So we try to keep the Odds Jam YouTube educational. And kind of the first thing you need to know about sports betting is you have to look at the odds on every sports book before you ever place a bet. You know, if you're betting on Fox Bet Michigan and you want to bet on the 49ers, you shouldn't be betting them minus 138. It's a horrible bet, right? That's 27 cents worse than what's being offered on Pinnacle Sportsbook. So making money sports betting, you know, it's not impossible, but it requires you to have an understanding of the markets, right? And if you're getting ripped off, you're getting 27 cents worse than what's offered on Pinnacle, which is the sportsbook offering the best odds on the, on the 49ers, then you're never going to make money, right? Sports betting is all about finding enough value to beat the juice, beat the vig, and get an edge to win in the long run. And if you're placing bets at minus 138, when there's other sportsbooks in your location offering minus 111, you will never make money sports betting. So... Um, you can see the point spread. The 49ers are one and a half point favorites, you know, one to two point favorites, depending on the sports book. So like we always say, if you're betting on the Rams, you should be getting them plus two at minus 110. Don't take them plus one and a half. Grab that extra value plus two at minus 110. If the Rams lose by two points, you're going to be happy, right? Because you're going to be pushing everyone else who had the Rams plus one and a half are going to be losing. So sports betting, again, it's all about finding an edge to win in the long run, and you have to be finding these half-point spots of value if you want to make money, right? So if you want to take the 49ers, on the other hand, get them minus one at minus 115 as opposed to minus one and a half at minus 115. Then the total in this game is at 42 and a half, 43, depending on the sports book. So we're looking for value as a sharp better, and the play I ended up going with is actually the Rams money line. So you can see this is a positive EV bet. It's on the Odds Jam positive EV tool. And there's a lot of value in this play, right? No other sportsbook's really giving us better than plus 110. And you can see Pinnacle, which is the sharpest bookmaker out there, they're all the way down at plus 100 with only, you know, 11 cents in market width. So we're able to get the Rams with 14 cents of improvement. So even though the edge or the profit margin is a bit lower, we have really high confidence that this play is profitable because Pinnacle has such low market width, right? It's only 11 cents. You can also see the Betfair exchange. They're only giving you plus 100 as well, although they have a bit more market width than Pinnacle right now. So we're using all this data in the market to kind of try to tease out, do we like the Rams at plus 114 on the money line? And just given where the sharp sports books are at, you know, bet online plus 105, Pinnacle plus 100, and Betfair Exchange plus 100. Definitely going to dabble with the Rams plus 100, plus 114, I apologize. And I ended up betting it for 250 bucks, adding it to my sheet um, where I'm tracking profit and loss. And you can see we have the Rams money line, 250 bucks at plus 114 odds. And we're currently up, you know, 22K since the start of the season. So hopefully we can keep it going. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Rams 49ers. Do you think the Rams can get it done? Is Christian McCaffrey actually going to make an impact? We shall see. But I'm rolling with the Rams. That's where the value is right now. Lines are moving towards them. And let's make some money, guys.